welcome back to my channel. Before I start today's video, I just want to say hello to everyone who is new on my channel. Hello! <laughs> I actually have a question for you guys. So, since starting my YouTube channel, my intentions have never been to make the channel into a Japanese study channel, but rather as a guide for you to find a Japanese language school and kind of just as a window to show you what Japanese student life is like. But I've noticed that a lot of my recent followers are interested in studying Japanese or actually studying Japanese at the moment. So I figured that I could start making some videos about that topic along with everything else that I'm making. So with that said, I need you guys' help. Like I said, I'm not going to make my channel into a typical study channel, but I would like to know what kind of videos you want to see um, within the realms of the Japanese language. A video about how I study kanji, what I struggled the most with in my Japanese language journey, maybe inviting a Japanese friend to compare how Japanese people study Japanese and how foreigners study Japanese. If you have any ideas, please leave a comment with that below and if you see any comments with ideas that you think might be fun, please give that comment a thumbs up so I know that that's what you guys want to see. Of course, if you have any other suggestions for videos, please leave them down below as well. Okay, that was a lot of talking, so now let's get into today's video. So first off, I should probably mention that the words I'm bringing up in this video are not necessarily the very first words that I learned. I think I knew words like konnichiwa before I even started studying Japanese and it wouldn't really be a fun video if I just sat and listed words like konnichiwa, arigato, sayonara or I guess sayonara is on my list but but yeah you get the deal. So instead I'm gonna tell you some words that I remember learning very very early on and that I have some kind of story connected to. There will be lots of nostalgia and some embarrassment, so with that said, let's start. So like I've mentioned on my channel before, I was a super big fan of Naruto for many years during my teenage years and I learned quite a lot of Japanese words from just watching that anime. And one word that I learned really early on and I started to use as well was baka. I think most of you know what the word baka means from watching anime or just indulging in Japanese culture but for anyone who does not know, baka means basically idiot. Now baka is a word that is used a lot in anime and definitely a lot in Naruto as well and especially in Naruto but a lot of the characters just say baka 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 all the time and I would learn it and pick it up. I think I picked it up like when I just started watching it and I actually started to use baka like to my friends and in school. <laughs> I remember my PE classes in, I think it was like middle school, I would get really upset at the opponents of like the other team when we were playing a ball game or something and I would just scream baka baka to them and no one else knew what the word baka meant because no one had started to watch animes at that point. So I just used that to my advantage and I was just running around screaming baka at people that I got upset at. <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely one of the first words that I remember learning in Japanese. And I'm sure a lot of you have had the same experience. Okay, so another word, or I guess in this case phrase, that I remember learning way before I actually started to study Japanese was Kekkon shite kudasai, which means marry me. I was completely in love with Kakashi and so I remember having a conversation with this friend of mine and I think I mentioned to her like, you know, I would like to propose to Kakashi and then she taught me the phrase so after that, I remember like scribbling kakashi on my notebooks in school and I would just say it to myself sometimes or looking at pictures of him and actually saying it. This is so embarrassing to admit, but yeah. And yeah, that is one of the words that I remember learning very early on and that has kind of still stuck with me. <laughs> the next word I want to mention is actually sayonara. And sayonara, which I think most of you probably know, means farewell or goodbye in Japanese. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up this word is because it has a pretty funny backstory to why I learned it. So, like I've told you, I discovered Japan through anime and manga when I was 11 years old and from that point on, I would just, if there was anything about Japan on TV, I would watch it. If it was anything on radio, I would listen to it. I would just take in everything that has some connection to Japan. So, on Swedish television, there was this show called Help! I'm in a Japanese game show where a few Swedish like B celebrities went to Japan to participate in a typical Japanese game show and I loved that show. I loved seeing the Swedish celebrities interact with Japanese people, all of the host people and everyone in the audience were Japanese. 
Japanese and a lot of Japanese was used on set as well so I was just crazy about this show so like I think most Japanese game shows work you would have different tasks or competitions and if you fail you would be disqualified and here is where I learned the word sayonara so whenever someone got disqualified a bunch of Japanese men in black suits no not suits in black like what body suits would come in and they would carry the person who lost and carry them out of the studio while singing sayonara 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 <laughs> It was so silly seeing all of this as a Swedish person and this sayonara thing really stuck with me and my sister especially so we would go around and just say sayonara sayonara and that is how I learned the word sayonara now the last word I'm going to bring up in this video is the word itsumo which means always for a long time when people would ask me what's your favorite word in Japanese I would say the word itsumo the reason why I've had such strong feelings towards this word is because it is a word used in the closing song of the anime Fruits Basket. Or wait, is it the opening? Anyways, it is used in the soundtrack for the anime Fruits Basket, which is the first anime that I ever watched. So at the end of the song, they sing something like Let's stay together, it's a mall. And I feel myself getting pretty emotional just singing that little phrase of the song because that was so impactful and had a really strong influence on me and my journey into anime and Japanese culture. And it's also one of the first words that I remember learning in Japanese. Talking about all of these words and memories really make me happy and I'm very glad that I'm able to share it with you guys as well. Maybe you guys were also able to learn a few new words in Japanese as well. I'm really happy that I have you guys to share my passion for Japan with and to be honest it's been a little lonely or I haven't necessarily been lonely I am meeting people but I felt uh, emotionally a little lonely recently and yeah it's just nice to have this kind of outlet to interact with you guys as well and you are really making my day with all of your nice comments and just telling me that I motivate you to study Japanese and all the questions I'm able to answer so just thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I've noticed that with the style of videos I'm making at the moment it's kind of hard to find opportunities to get more personal with you guys but I hope that I will be able to create more of those opportunities to get to know you guys and for you to get to know me on a more personal level as well from now on and I know I've talked way too much in this video thank you so much for watching subscribing follow me on Instagram and everything that you're doing look forward to more fun videos with me coming in the next few weeks and I will see you in my next video bye